Hey everybody, I'm Andy the Kenworth Guy. Thanks for coming by the channel today. Well, I'm back in action, back at home base here in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada at Inland Truck and Equipment. Uh, beautiful sunny day today and it's delivery day. I'm dropping off these beautiful new W900 heavy spec loggers out to Kenora, Ontario. Big thank you to everybody over at Deerwa, Lawrence Deerwa Trucking and uh, Lawrence Albert Glenn and all the guys over there, thank you so much for the business. Let's uh, take a look at what we're check. Let's take a look at what we got here today. So, just about to uh, just about to head out here. Just going to grab a quick bite, and then we're off to deliver these trucks. And uh, what a project! Uh, these trucks, uh, two of them, going on multiple bodybuilders, multiple shops, paint built paint shops to uh, get everything all done on these trucks. These are brand new. 2025 Kenworth W900 long hoods, 62 inch aero cab flat top sleepers sitting on a 265 inch wheelbase. They're pretty much identical spec trucks uh, with the exception that the red one has a 605 in it, but they're both set up with a 565 2050 torque rated engines. But uh, we're gonna do a, a tour on both of them here. So lucky you guys, double feature. <laughs> so this one here, uh, we ordered it with the Century Black Red Effect. So this is what's on the 100th anniversary uh, trucks from last year. Uh, the black, it's got a really nice red metal flake in it. I don't know if you can pick it up in the video here, but it, it's really sharp. Uh, love the new badging Kenworth has on the side of the hood. It's the new logo, the new font. Ordered it with the bush bumper from the factory added on these uh, heavy duty mud flaps on the front bumper with a swinging license plate holder as well. And something the customer requested is a hard plastic on the back there just to keep everything from uh, hitting those tires. Uh, additional ribs on the grill, it's kind of standard what I like to do, but it comes standard with, uh, with three, we add the additional four, so you get a total of seven across the front end. And we got a custom visor up top there and then we got the roof lights, air horns, and beacons uh, with the roof lights up on the sleeper as well. I don't know if you can see that. I'll try to uh, hold that up there for you. But uh, down the side here, we have a 20,000 pound front axle with a 16 spring and uh, air shield covers over the air intake. Uh, elephant ears as some people would call it and we had shift products supply some uh, Ford air cleaner lights so those are the amber up front here and on the back we have the red on the back here and you can't tell because it's such a beautiful sunny day this truck is dressed with underglow lights so it's got uh, purple underglow lights underneath this truck so that's uh, a really cool feature that was done big thank you to the guys at house of chrome for doing a pile of work on these trucks uh, 
and also East Side Collision for assisting and uh, PBM for helping out as well. So lots of, uh, lots of stuff was done on these trucks. So check out these factory polished battery box here. It's the diamond plate here. We have the air uh, engine heater and oil heater as well. The, uh, that light is the light for when you're going in a courtesy lamp is what, what it's called. Uh, we had the def tank cover and the fuel tanks painted. So uh, really nice metal flake on there as well. And then same thing on that. <laughs> Heavy duty headache rack on the back here. So that's the big logging ace headache rack with the, uh, the, uh, uh, the hoops up above. We have the turn signals and clearance lights in there as well. A wet kit was installed on it. Uh, we have a double frame rail on this truck and we ordered it with the zinc oxide frame rail paint process. And you gotta do that on both the main rail and on the insert as well. So uh, that's on there. As far as these fenders, uh, these were from Ace as well. We did the, the smooth polished uh, or smooth uh, mirror finished. And uh, we have the anti-sail brackets with the Kenworth V flaps on the front. And same thing on the back. Uh, 46,000 pound rear ends. So these are the, uh, the Dana Spicer with the oil pump and the heavy housing, the PEH version. And these are the Durabrite uh, rims, uh, mirror finish on them. So really shiny. Hendrickson 46K rear suspension with the heavy duty torque rods. And uh, so that's uh, very strong and uh, gonna hold up to the the bush pounding so here is the shift products underglow clips here so these just clip onto the frame rail you can kind of see it right there and here and those are all controlled from inside the cab of course and then there's some additional ones kind of down the rail and uh, underneath the cab and the bumper uh, what else can i tell you we have a four four-way diff locks on it here as well and then we have disc brakes on the truck all the way around front and back so looking down this side, we had to do some aftermarket conversions here. So you can kind of see how this step works. Uh, this step was actually located on this uh, fuel tank just so that there was access to the frame. Well, the problem is uh, we it would be covered up by this and it wouldn't would kind of hard to get around. So ordered an extra strap and kind of move things around from the truck. And uh, we have custom installed dealer installed uh, steps on the truck here. So really nice, uh, nice way to set those up. And those are all painted as well. So coming down this side here, we'll just uh, pop open the hood. This is always a challenge for me, as you've seen in previous videos. <laughs> Even though I have been packing on the pounds. Maybe you've noticed, because I haven't been on here for a while. Oh yeah, come on, baby. Here we go. Ah! There we go. So like I said, under here, this one's a 565 2050 torque rated uh, performance series Cummins. And uh, we got the boost terminals right here. We'll just cover up, cover these guys up here. Where's the other one? There's the red one. And uh, we got the Davco 382 fuel water separator, heated of course, power steering filter and reservoir right there. Disc brakes on the front, like I said. And uh, we'll go around the other side and show you what's going on there. Got all your accessories up front here, your turbo, and uh, there's your taps to shut off the coolant going in and out of the, uh, the cab. Uh, what else can I show you? Oh yeah, there's there's one of the other lights down there for the uh, underglow. And I believe there's a few, oh, one more on the other side there. So, really, really sharp. So, uh, let's uh, close up the hood and we'll take a quick peek on the inside for a few minutes. And then we'll take a look around on the other side. Oh yeah, something else I forgot to show. We changed the exhaust pipes out to the, uh, the straight tops. So you got the straight tops on there, those are the fives. And then we left these ones here 
with the standards up above there. So, so there you go. So inside the cab here, you can see we got the diamond VIT interior. So this is the diamond stitching on the door pan, uh, panel and then also up above on the headliner. We have leather seats, uh, heated leather seats. These are the uh, premium plus with the additional lumbar supports. And then you got the heat control as well. We got battery disconnect switches right there. There's the PTO to engage. Chrome shifter coming out of the floor. So that's an option for the factory with the 18 speed manual. Uh, the full gauge package like to do on all the trucks. Full gauges all the way across. And then we have the uh, trailer lift axles right down below here. And then there's the switch to engage that. Auxiliary light switch for exterior. Uh, those are the underglow, I believe. And then uh, DPF, your traction control, beacons, hazards, fog light switch, PTO, uh, factory PTO switch, air suspension inflate, air slide, air suspension deflate, and then your full lockers right over there. So we did the black dash all the way across. Leather wrap smart wheel, just so that uh, we free up some space for gauges and switches on the dash. Uh, over here, we have your ABS off-road switch, your fan, your bunk light, and then there is your uh, cab light. Some work lights on the back there as well. So up above, we have your storage up here, and then we have the CB kit, and then there's your air horn pull cord right there. So in the back of the bunk, I'll just do a quick uh, kind of pass through here. We have that uh, auxiliary fan there, just kind of old school fan. I really like to throw that on trucks. Uh, that's right over there. And then we have the storage down below. So uh, standard with the lower storage. Uh, this one here is a no cost option. And then we have the additional shelf up above, which is an option. Diamond all the way across. And then there's these spare parts that were uh, kind of changed and taken off of the truck. Uh, more storage up above there. Kind of down on the back here. This is where you have your controls for uh, the bunk uh, lights and, and uh, heaters and so on and so forth. So there you go, carpet, carpet all throughout as well. So you've got the nice carpet interior. So uh, let's jump in the other truck and check it out. All right, so doing a quick walkthrough on this one here. A lot of the similar things were done to it here, but we painted the fenders black. Uh, these are black century red effect to kind of be a twin uh, color to, to the all black one. And then we painted the fuel tanks and uh, the def tank cover in the black as well to kind of give it a different look, which I think looks super sharp. Uh, we got red underglow lights on this one here. Can't tell right now, obviously, because it's super bright. Uh, got a visor there from 12 gauge and uh, we got the roof lights same as the other one. Factory curved pipes up top. And then there's the shift lights on the front of the air breather and on the back. Painted tanks. Again, big heavy duty ACE headache rack along with the hydraulics uh, for the wet kit. Uh, we have an aftermarket step that was installed because we had to uh, basically get some sort of access to the truck. This side did have steps on the fuel tank as well. Uh, we took took those off, put new straps on, and then put a step over here instead. Same thing as far as the rear axle. This one here is a 46 uh, with the heavy housing. And uh, we have a 70 ton fifth wheel on here with 36 inch slide. So that's same on both of them there. Hendrickson Primax suspension. And then here's that fuel tank setup that we did with the hydraulic tank and the steps again, just to, just to have access steps onto the catwalk. Like I said, this one here is, it, I, before I run up front here, I want to show you guys some, some little details that I, that I like to see. I like to see everything all lined up, like just nice and clean so that you don't have one kind of off kilter. So really sharp. It's legendary red is the primary color of this truck. Uh, the interior is the same setup as this one here. Uh, all black interior, full gauge package all the way through. And then uh, the spare parts like I talked about and there's the auxiliary fan. So very, very nice setup. 
All right, so that's it for this week's video. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, I'm really glad to be bringing videos back to you guys again. Uh, a nice three month break was, was long overdue. Uh, six years straight of doing videos almost every single week. Uh, I just needed to take a take a pause. So uh, good to be back though. And uh, yeah, I've got lots more content coming. So uh, please subscribe if you haven't, because there will be more videos coming out. And uh, if you like this type of content, give the video a thumbs up too. So again, a big thank you to everybody over at Lawrence Deerwa Trucking. Uh, congratulations, Dante and Drake on your new trucks that you guys get to ride. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy the trucks as much as I did uh, getting these trucks ready for you. So uh, if you are interested in contacting me, all my contact information is in the description below, or you can go up here to the kenworthguy.com and you can check everything out uh, up there. So thanks so much for watching. And as always, have yourself the world's best day.